Ha <laughs> ha! The time has come to vertex paint. All right. Um, in our color attributes, we're going to add something called skin. And then our shader editor, we're going to go in shift A attributes and find the skin attribute we just made. Okay. And then connect it to the principled BSDF. It should go away because we haven't given it a color yet. This is, this one's actually going to, going to be pretty fun. So select any color that you want for your skin and just start painting your face. You can do something called a flood fill, which with uh, shift K, K as in night. Um, but in Blender 4.0.2, it wasn't working for me. Um, I had to do it manually. Okay. I don't know if you saw what I just did right there. You can add this color. So now it's part of your palette. Okay. Now I'm going to make, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to do those rosy cheeks. So I'm going to add something that's just a little bit richer and a little bit redder. Okay. And now I'm going to add some reds around my lips, my nose, a little under eye and the cheek because uh, humans naturally have this. Okay. There's, there's an old way of painting that put, that puts reds across the middle of the face and yellows across the top of the forehead and kind of soft blues around the bottom of the chin. And that had to do with, um, creating the illusion of depth on a two dimensional plane. Okay. So what I just did right there was I created another one, uh, another color attribute called skin tones, and I'm going to plug this one in the principled BSDF, go back and uh, create a new color. This one's going to be the yellows. Okay. And yellows on top of the forehead, because this has to do with the reflective nature of light on a curved surface, the curve being the shape of our forehead. And it's just a way to make that more pronounced on a two dimensional plane. Okay. Now the whole head doesn't have to be yellow, obviously. And now uh, the middle part of our face is going to be red and the bottom of our face is going to be blue. And this blue has to do with the reflective nature of light. Um, when it, as it pertains to shadows, shadows are always much, much cooler and the, the roundness around the curvature of our jaw, um, creates, uh, a, a type of shadow that creates the illusion of curve on a two dimensional plane. So now we're going to take both of these attributes and we're going to mix them at a mix shader and then scroll down and mix the colors. And just like that, you can see that we've mixed the two different attributes, the one that was the color of just the base skin. And then the other attribute that was the mixture of the red, the yellow and the blue. Okay. Now let's add a third color attribute and we'll call it details. Come back over into our shader editor, shift a, attribute and then find, um, find the name of the attribute that we just made, plug that in to our principal BSDF. And, um, and now we're going to make this a little bit darker and we're just, we're going to create, you know, kind of the, the hollow of our uh, brow line and our under eyes and inside the ear and around the lips and even the, the curvature around the bridge of the nose. Um, Okay. And then we're going to mix this with all of our other stuff. Okay. We're just, we're, all we're doing is we're taking each one of these attributes and we're going to mix them with the other stuff that we've made before to create a texture that is rich and has a lot of different colors and variation going on. Okay. So now we're going to create something called subsurface scattering. Okay. And then same thing, same thing, just mix those. Okay. And if everything uh, if you can't keep mixing, then you just need to add another mixer. Okay. And just like that, very quickly, we have a really pretty skin that we can wrap around our character that looks organic, right? So I just kicked uh, this over into cycles and activated my GPU. We have to bake this now. Okay. So we're going to scroll down to bake and then select uh, diffuse. And then the target is going to be an image texture and you want to make sure to clear the image. Okay. And then you want to make sure you have the head selected and it, you'll immediately see our UV unwrapped image. This is super important in the margin. Make sure you set the margin to around two. Okay. And then same thing we did last time we baked, you want to add the image texture. Um, it doesn't really need to be connected to anything yet. That's not that big of a deal. And you want to call it head diffuse. You can call it whatever you want to head diffuse. That's fine. And then click bake. Okay. And just like we baked our multi-resolution modifier, now we're baking the skin that we just painted by way of vertex painting. 
Okay. And it's essentially baked in there. Now, same thing with the image. You got to save the image. If you don't save the image and you X out of blender, it goes away forever. And, uh, that's just something that we, that we never want to happen really ever. Okay. And then plug that image texture into our principal BSTF and bada bing, bada boom, just like that are the vertex painting that we baked into our UV unwrapped 2d mesh is now anchored onto our 3d model. Just like that. Super pretty, nice and easy, lemon squeezy, easy peasy. Okay. Now, uh, to make sure that it exports with you, you want to file export, pack the resources down. So when you export this out, um, it'll come with you. Okay. All right.